Hello and welcome to I Set Fire Season 2. It has finally arrived. A lot of you have been asking for where is I Set Fire? Where has it been? Is it gone forever? But no, here we are. Season 2. Now, if you don't know, if you're a little bit confused, wait, why are you doing Season 2? Why are you not continuing the other one? Well, I made a video not too long ago titled where is Size of Fire? I'll leave a link down below to it in the description. You can go ahead and watch that. I explain a lot of stuff why I also took a long break for it, etc. But we're back with Season 2. Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted to do a Season 2 is, of course, because Eyes of Fire has updated to 1.16.4. So this is 1.16.4 right here. Now, there are a lot of different changes as well between the seasons. One of which is the mod pack, of course. I completely rebuilt the mod pack. It is something completely new, completely different than season one, and I am a lot more happy with it. I wasn't entirely happy. I wasn't entirely happy with how the season one mod pack was and such, and I was very unsure I added mods, but I didn't really know if I really wanted to use them. And yeah, it was um, it was a mess. But here we are in season two, and I am very very happy with it. Speaking of the mod pack. It will become public to every so that everyone can play it in the future. But for right now, it is Patreon only. So if you want access to the mod pack, you can go ahead and click the link down below in the description that leads you to my Patreon page, and the patrons that or the people that decide to support me on Patreon gets access to the mod pack. Now, like I said, it will get access to uh, the entire world in the future. But for right now. It is um, accessible to patrons only. So if you wish to get the mod pack and wish to support me in a great, great way, uh, link to my Patreon down below in the description. Okay, that 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 was a weird angle. <laughs> All right, hey sheep. So we are here and uh, surviving, getting wood for the very first time. And I can say a few of the mods that I have added um, because that is one of the things that I wanted to make different from season one as well. I don't want this to be only ice and fire. I want there to be um, interaction to other mods as well. So we do have ice and fire, obviously, um, but I won't be only doing ice and fire stuff. I have a few other mods as well, such as Botania and a few others as well that I am very excited uh, to be playing with. Hold on, what's that? That's not a normal tree, is it? Fruit log. I have a feeling I shouldn't break that. Looks like we have a desert over here, and as you can probably tell, the biomes look very different as well. Um, and also the animals are different colored. I don't know what mud does that. <laughs> um, but there's a desert over here. I would not... I see a camel. Uh, I would not mind searching through the desert, but first I would not mind either getting, uh, getting started with some tools and whatnot. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I have no plans whatsoever. I have no plans for bases. I have no idea what to do, uh, where to do things. I have not seen anything about this world. I just generated the world and liked how it looked from the from the past screen when it got generated and I went with it. Oh dear. A little bit of a lag spike, but we are fine. Let's head over. Actually, I might not want to go to the desert just yet. I might want to go ahead. Is that stone? Yep, that is stone. I think I want some stone first. Hold on, is this? Feather reed grass. Okay, it looked like wheat, but it's not. Okay, that's unfortunate. Also, we should probably get some... Uh, we should probably get a little bit of food. There were a lot of animal, animal blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there were a lot of animals back there, so I think we should probably go ahead and get that, uh, just so we don't starve to death out here. Another thing that I wanted to do differently from season one is that I want to include a lot more work on camera. Wait, what's that? Corn seed. Oh yeah, we have simple farming as well. Um, yeah, I wanted to include a lot more work on camera and. Yeah, I don't know if that made any sense, but you'll see. Uh, you'll see. It will basically allow me to make episodes a lot easier and also be more consistent with it as well. Okay, we should have... Let's get rid of some of that. Industrial herb seeds. Oh yeah, we have immersive engineering as well. I did add it in season one uh, a lot later, but I never really... Again, this is one of the things. I never really got to play with it because I wasn't sure if I wanted 
to use it or not. But it's in this pack and we will be using it. Um, hmm. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Wait, a furnace. Can always use a furnace because we will be cooking food. Hopefully we will be able to find some coal as well. Maybe in that case. Uh, no, wait, I think that's copper. But that's coal right there. So that's beautiful. Um, we do want to get some food though. Oh, that's a cave right there. Awesome. Uh, food. There were a lot of cows back here. Maybe we can get some leather as well. Leather is always welcome. It's annoying to get in the future as well. Hey cow, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. And I'm gonna get at least like eight pieces of steak or something like that. But yeah, if you want to play with this pack, there's a link to my Patreon down below in the description. It is not a huge amount. The minimum is $1 a month. That is the lowest pledge and that is all you need. Uh, to get access to the mod pack and it supports me in a great way. It took a lot of time to make the pack as well. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we have a lot of uh, wood now. I think we're good on that. What did I, oh yeah, food. I should probably also get some wool. So I'm sorry sheep, but um, yeah, it has to be done. I need a, I need, I, I need a bit, okay? <laughs> I need a bit. I don't want to be out in the dark, so we're going to get a bit of wool as well. I'm not going to kill all the animals because we may want to make a farm in the future. Okay, five pieces of steak and four pieces of... What's that? Mutton. Right. We should be good. Right, so we're going to go ahead and get the coal that we saw over there. Well, actually, we're going to head to the big cave. Maybe we can find some iron as well. It was right over there. And then we're going to head to the desert. Hopefully, we won't get attacked by Myrmexes or something weird. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, maybe there's a village or it is a temple we could uh, bunker down in. That would be pretty cool. Now, this cave right here. How big is it? That's a lot of coal there, so that's nice. The lava. That's tin. Um... I see some more ore there. Ooh, what's this? Dense coal ore. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Gotta love that. That's cool. That is very, very cool. So let's get this coal. Now we can cook up some of our food. I'm gonna grab some of these ores as well. I don't know if we will go mining in this episode. Uh, I thought that was a zombie. Um. Can I take this tin with my stone pickaxe? I can. Question is, is it going to be useful to me? Wait, what? Wait, is this aluminum? Oh, this is aluminum. Huh, they look alike. We have bauxite, I believe. Isn't that like a different... What? Excuse me. Ugh. Hmm. Um. No, thank you. I just heard footsteps and froze. Oh no. Isn't that like a isn't this a different type or a different name for copper? Nope. A different name for alu aluminum. That's fair, I guess. Please give me that. Sweet. I think we have enough for right now. Uh, I'm gonna head out before I get blown up by something. Uh before I get stuck down here. It is a little bit dark and creepy. What's this? Tin. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, one more. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, I, I get so excited by these caves. Oh, cover. Okay, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take a few of these ores and uh, we'll continue to the desert. Sink. Again, one ore. But hey, ooh, iron! I didn't even know there was iron here. We good? Yeah, it does look like the sun is going down, though. So, we may need to make a bed real quick. What's that? Lead! Cool! Okay, I'm actually going to turn this uh, little cave hole here that I made into a little bit of a base of operations. It is currently dark and I would, I'm would i still mining ores. That lead ore, that lead vein really kept going. So I think I'm actually going to place down my furnace over here. Get some of this food cooked up. Uh, maybe do that. <laughs> and yeah, get some of this stuff cooked up. Mainly the food and then we'll head to the desert in the morning. I mean, I'm curious, so how much iron is that going to drop? We have four. That dropped four. That's not bad. But yeah, I'm gonna get these ores, maybe make up some torches as well, make the bed and sleep. And uh, yeah, we'll continue in the morning. Oh, we have a visitor. Our first monster to kill. Spider. Ouch. Okay, let's, uh, let's get that bed made up and let's get out of here. All right, placing down the bed, getting some sleep done, and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna break it and take it with me, even though 
that does reset my spawn, but we're not that far away, it matters. Skeleton, uh, no thank you. Oh, more iron, I might as well grab that. Oh, hello. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip the creeper for now. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, we're gonna run to the desert now. I've marked the coordinates uh, for that place because there is a lot of caves and also a lot of um, very good ores as well. So we'll come back to that later. Also, this is excellent. Hey, anyway, how about you? Uh, oh, I thought I could knock him in there. That looks pretty cool. We might have to come back here as well. Seems like there's a lot of good ores nearby. Now, sugarcane. I definitely want some sugarcane because, yeah, sugarcane is sugarcane. There we go. Might as well grab it. Uh, pink cactus flower. Okay, drops me nothing. Now, the last thing I want to do is die um, from a dragon. So I do have to be careful. Okay. I still have to remember that even though this has all the mods, this is still Ice of Fire and is still just as deadly. Yet another ravine with a different stone type here as well. Oh. Uh, hmm. That's cool. A lot of ravines. We also have a lot of iron, by the way. Maybe if we get just a little bit more iron, we could actually get a full set of iron armor on day one. That would not be bad at all. Maybe in here? Nope, only sandstone. Would you look at that? Desert temple. We were just on the other side of this desert uh, hill here. Or mountain or whatever you want to call this. And desert temple. I cannot complain about that. Let's get in there and see what treasures it has for us. Hopefully they're good. Maybe we can even get some diamonds on the day one. That <laughs> that would be insane. Um, we good? Yeah, we're good. All right, just gonna start digging down here. Just gotta not ignite the TNT. Then we should be good. Break that, place a torch, and boom, we're done. Let's so Wait, what? Uh, okay, that... Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's... Okay, that's... Okay, this is... This is a lot to process. Help. Okay, this is the one that has the least amount of stuff in it. Let's just clean up the inventory a little bit. Enchanted golden, okay, uh, oh yeah, um, yeah, that's a, oh, whoops, that's a, um, that's a special little thing that I have added, uh, bronze shovel, thurium leggings, that looks pretty good in terms of, let, let, hold on, can I like search here, diamond, that's the same protection as, as diamond. Wow, how do you even... Oh, wrong button. <laughs> um, wow, okay, this is a lot of stuff. Um, I'm thinking we have the TNT as well, right? Yeah, we do. I'm just trying to think here if we should make the Desert Temple as a base of operations for right now, because it's not... It wouldn't be a bad place to call home for right now. Red rune, black rune. Oh yeah, we have a magic mod in as well. Other than Patania, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I need to organize these chests. That I'm not going to do on camera. This is a lot of stuff. We're obviously going to take the leggings because why not? It gives us protection. Um, yeah, there is a lot of good resources right here that we definitely need to grab. Um, and also a lot of inventory sorting I need to do. So, I think I'm going to leave this here. Like, I'm going to leave some stuff here because I will be back. I think the best thing for us is to call this desert temple a little bit of a base of operations. Um, yeah, I think that will be the best call of action here. And now, what is outside and surround surrounding us? Is it safe? That is the question. I am going to screenshot the coordinates. We came from... Actually, we came from over there. Looks like we have some savannah nearby. I just want to make sure that we don't have a dragon sleeping uh, right next to us on the surface, at least. And we might call this a home. For right now, at least. Um, it looks pretty clear. It looks to be 
fairly clear, I think. So I think I might be happy with this. Yep, I think this is a good place to call home. Doesn't seem like there's too much uh, bad stuff nearby. I haven't seen any mermaids nests either close by, so they're not gonna cause any troubles. We don't have any dragon nests nearby, which are not gonna cause any trouble either. I think we're gonna call this desert temple a home, but that means we need to do a little bit of renovations to make it uh, safe and secure for us. Lighting it up, uh, putting down some essential crafting stations and such. So let's get to that right now. Um, yeah, we need to block these holes up. We need to light this place up because we do not want any uninvited guests, which may very easily invite themselves in if we don't do something about this. Um, so lighting it up, and I'm thinking, can, is this breakable? No, it's not. Okay. Maybe some crafty stations over here, such as furnace and stuff. Maybe even remove the pillars. Yeah, the pillars are good. Yeah, I think I'm going to put my essential crafting stuff over here. Maybe put the bit in the corner over here with a torch over it. Yeah, I think this place will actually be very nice to live in. We are gonna make some double chests. Uh, actually, I might already split up and make like four chests and split things up. So we have stuff like that. And we have, I don't know, wood. Hmm. Okay, a little bit of a quick uh, item sorting stuff. So we have a miscellaneous chest here, then we have stone, then we have wood, and we have resources such as, well, metals really, and then we have food. So, let's put up some doors then. Uh, I may need some more wood, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we do. Uh, this definitely got a clear. Oh, sun's going down. Bit time soon. I might actually smell some of this uh, sand to make some glass. And look at that, we even have access to... Is this only a pond or does this... No, this is a lake. Oh, that's cool. And we have a lot of sugar cane. This... I think this place is perfect. What's this? Dead grass. <laughs> I think this place is going to be very, very nice to have as a base. Uh, for right now, in a way. Alright, door place. Oh dear, we gotta light those up. Let's sleep first before something spawns and let's light this place up. Alright, I have some sandstone to block these towers off. So if we just... Eh, I guess just do that. Except that then that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> Put a torch there and a torch there and this should be lit up. Uh... This should be good enough anyway, I hope. So put that, put that like so. And yeah, something like that. So that, can I break this? Nope, that goes to the outside. I can't break this though, right? Yeah, if, I, if my pickaxe would last. I just want it to be a little bit more open. So I'll happily take these down, put a torch right there. Yeah, that definitely opens it up a lot more. Now we have this up here, so we gotta go outside and up to the top of this thing. Just to, uh... Yeah. Block that off. Put a torch. Okay, that... No. That's a lot better. <laughs> that... People were probably screaming at me down in the comment section. Um... Because I... You know what? I don't blame you. That... That looked terrible. Final block to block off, and I guess we'll put some torches here. And this is now, I think, home. Yeah, I like this. I think this will be a very nice place to live in. Yep, I had some doors there. Oh yeah, we de oh dear. Um, before something bad happens up here, let's for sure put some lighting up here, because... I do not want any nasty surprises. We good with the lighting? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We are good. Now the final part of dealing with this. We gotta get storage this uh, set up properly. Which should probably be done with a ladder and a trap door. This seems a little bit dark. 
Yeah, trapdoor I think is probably going to be the best and some ladders as well. All right, so I'm actually going to go out and okay, that is the nearest. I'm gonna go over here and get some wood. Maybe bring a few dirt blocks over so we can actually grow some trees nearby. I do have, I think, one oak sapling, but that is not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna grab some more saplings as well. And we're gonna grow some trees nearby, just so we don't have to walk all the way over here each time we need wood. Maybe climb to the top of that hill, just to see what's beyond it. That would be cool. Ooh, look at this. Berry bushes. Can I... By any chance, pick these up. Oh, I can. Yes. I'm gonna grab a few of these. Because that's gonna be a nice to have around the, the home. Ooh, blue. Wait, is that... That's a village over there. Also, blueberry bushes. I can't say no to that. Um, I think we're going to wait with the village for next episode. Mainly... Ow. Mainly because... Uh... I don't want to risk a dragon actually being over there and then leaving us, well, following us back home. So I think we'll wait with that village for next time, just so we have something else to explore. Also, this episode is getting quite long, so I think we should head back, put the ladder down, and I can do some uh, chest organization off camera, ready for next time and the village. Uh, yeah, we'll explore the village next episode. It's actually pretty close as well to this temple, that's nice. Maybe we could get a mending book. A mending villager at the end of not at the end, but at the beginning of the season because I never got one uh, I never got one in season one uh, Pain well then um, The crafting recipe has changed <laughs> Okay, uh, I did not Hmm. I didn't even know that myself That's interesting. I like it though because now we get four per operation that's not bad, you know. That's actually not bad. Hopefully 24 will do. Now the pain of actually placing them down. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. I just have to look at the lowest one and it places under it automatically. That's sweet. I love it. Except that I can't reach it. Uh, for now. <laughs> this works. <laughs> This is so ugly, but this will work for now. I just also want some lighting here. Like so. And light there. Yeah, I'm gonna organize all these chests off camera. Um, yeah, we have a lot of good stuff here. And uh, we'll uh, take a look at what we got in the next episode. But with that... I'm going to end this episode right here. I really hope you are excited for Fight Five Season 2. I certainly am. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for what the future holds for this series. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, the mod pack. If you want access to the mod pack, my Patreon is down below in the description. Go and check it out. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Conta la nave ruta e si Zappu e fru i knimmai Arvista banting mi kinting nari